Yeah, so hello guys, welcome back to another edition of Sports Update Ghana. My name is Joseph Adamafia. And coming up in this edition, Ghanaian musician Kim Promise has disclosed that he has made some efforts to get his good friend Callum Hudson Odoi to switch nationalities and play for the Blasters. He said he's not the only player that he has been putting in effort to get him to play for the Blasters, but also he has been making effort to get Arsenal striker Edin Ketia to switch nationalities and play for the Blasters as well. We also have news on former Blasters assistant coach that is David Duncan who has tried to compare Daniel Freire Banner to Edin Ketia saying that the difference between the two players is just the Jesse and the club they play for. Well, all this and more coming up here on Sports Update Ghana. You know what to do. Please like, share and don't forget to leave a comment. So quickly, let's get into action and Ghanaian musician that is Kim Promise who led uh, Callum Hudson all the way to return to Ghana in the year I think 2021 has disclosed that well he has been putting in some efforts to get the Chelsea winger to switch nationalities and play for the Black Stars. According to him, well, anytime he calls Callum Hudson all the way, the thing he often tells him is that Callum, you have to come and play for the Black Stars. Leave England and come and play for the Black Stars. And he says that well, he has been doing it over and over and over again and maybe we could have the player play for the Black Stars. He says that well, it's not only Callum Hudson all the way. He said, I think Getia is also a good friend of his and anytime he speaks to the two players, he makes sure that he tries and convinced these players to leave England and come and play for the Black Stars. Although they played for England's youth teams in the past, he says that well, he has done his best at trying to get these players to play for the Black Stars. And he says that well, he, it was shocking for him to see the news about uh, Callum Hudson Audrey getting a passport to play for the Black Stars. He says that he cannot confirm it and he has not asked his friend about it. But well, what he keeps doing is that he tries to tell this player to switch nationalities and play for the Black Stars. Well, he said this during an interview with YFM where he said that, well, see, I've been doing my best, but the GFA also have to do their best. Let's take a listen to Kim Promise, a celebrated Ghanaian musician. Reports have it that yeah. Callum hudson Odoi yeah. of Chelsea has acquired a Ghanaian passport and may possibly be playing for the Black Stars. How true is that? Um, from your perspective, I mean, you, you guys are friends, so I mean, the reports had me too, you know. Like, when I woke up today, I was like, What's going on here? It was all over the news. I nearly sent it to him, but I've already been bothering him too much, yeah, you know, about playing. I like, we, I remember last time we spoke, um, I told him, Bro, I'll call you every day till you change your mind, so you do it, yeah. And he, he thought I was joking. And every time, yeah, now in full <laughs> force, <laughs> full effect. Agent like, Thomas, I bro. Call, I call him, <laughs> and I'm like, bro, Black Stars, that's all I said. And I cut the yeah. point. He's like, you're an idiot. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> you're playing. I did the same thing with Vinketia. Yeah. Like, I'm, yeah. he's my boy as well. I'm like, bro, you have to play for Ghana. Um, anyone you know who's a Ghanaian who plays for anywhere in yeah. the, the world, yeah. I, and I know them, I, I urge them to play for Ghana. So I don't know if he's going to play for Ghana, yeah. but I've done my part i guess so that is can promise about the, the musician who is known for songs like i've been uh, known for songs like selfish and other songs oh yeah that thing you do oh yeah he has songs with um whiskey and other musicians as well so he says that he has been doing his best to get the players to switch nationalities and play for the black star well these players have also not uh hidden their desire to play for the blasters after Ghana qualified to play at the World Cup in Qatar. Well, according to Edin Ketia, who has spoken in the past, says that his door is open to play for either England or Ghana. Edin Ketia in the past played for England's youth team and has the is the record holder for the under 21 division, where he scored nine goals and is the top scorer for England at the youth level at the under 21 level. For uh, Callum has not. We also play alongside Edin at the youth level, but he has gotten the opportunity to play for the senior team of the uh, England national team and says that well, he's also open to play for the Blasters. In recent reports, we've heard news that well, the players have gotten their Ghanaian passport to help them switch nationalities and play for the Blasters. I don't know how true is it, but well, we'll monitor the news wave and make sure I bring you the best in terms of players who are switching nationalities to play for the Blasters, but still staying with Edin Ketia, one coach who has been making a case for local players is former Blasters assistant coach, that is David Duncan, who has 
made a tweet which has gotten some Ghanaians attacking him. According to him, the difference between a crowd of folks, Daniel Fie Bane and Arsenal striker, Edin Ketia, is the justice. Can you imagine a former Black Stars assistant coach saying this? And that is what has gotten some Ghanaian Twitter users very annoyed, saying that as a coach, you shouldn't be saying this because, see, the players in the Ghana Premier League, they are not better than players in the English Premier League because the English Premier League is very competitive. You are playing the Ghana Premier League where you are not even playing on good pitches and the players are not able to score goals. They want to compare Daniel Free Banner to Edin They are saying, Coach, you have to come back again. So that is the comments that you are seeing on your screens. And now people are not happy with what Coach David Duncan said. But I can tell you that Coach David Duncan, some way, somehow, got his spot on. Comparing this season, let's take this season alone. This season, Edin Ketia has played. 19 matches and two goals against Chelsea, two goals against Leeds United, and has one assist. Daniel Free Bani, Daniel Free Bani, on the other hand, has played 25 matches when you take today, May 14th, 2022, into account. After playing against um, Dream FC in the MTN FA Cup, he has played 25 matches, scored nine goals this season, and has three assists. Now, think about it. But if you want to compare their um, like their last three seasons or four seasons, you realize that I think Ketia is better off than Daniel Fee Bane. But I think the coach was comparing this season also. I'm trying to defend Coach David Duncan because he has coached out of folk and Court of Court and the national team. You can't be doing this to a national team coach. But well, we'll see how that one goes. Let me know in the comment section what you think about the comparison between Edin Ketia and Daniel Fee Bane. Is it fair? Is he a non starter at all? Should he not start this? conversation because he believes that instead of chasing these foreign based players let's try and uh, sharpen the likes of Eddie uh, let's sharpen the likes of Daniel Free Banner. Daniel Free Banner to me sometimes gets selfish when he's playing for um, a crowd of folk. It's like having Iguain and Benzema in the same team. We have Obin Junior and uh, Daniel Free Banner playing attack. Definitely they are going to be selfish. You have Kofi Koji and Daniel Free Banier in attack, they are going to be selfish, and that is what is happening at Hearts of Football. Well, Daniel Free Banier has also got to work on his finishing abilities in the uh, in the face of goal and all that. Well, this is where I leave it. My name is Joseph Adamafiu. Make sure you like, share, and don't forget to leave a comment.